Hello everyone, a very good morning. I am Dr. Chirag Chamanda, an oral and medical official surgeon practicing with Royal Dental since the past four years. So friends, today I would like to talk about a very different type of topic. Today we want to talk about oral cancers. Say you have had an operation of oral cancer or if you have been recommended and surgery for oral cancer. Now oral cancers are very much curable in the first and the second stage. In the third and the fourth stage, the prognosis reduces. Usually the oral cancers they are quite infiltrated. If they reach the level of the bone, then half of the jaw is usually removed. At Royal Dental, what we do is we actually plan the surgery using 3D models, 3D printed guides, virtual surgical planning. There are certain key markers which when studied in depth can actually tell us the amount of infiltration of the tumor cells and thereby we can avoid removing the whole jaw or a complete part of the jaw. We can be very accurate in measuring the resections. We then create surgical guides, surgical steps and plan for the resection. This is one of our patients where we plan a surgical guide. Now in this case, where we plan a surgical guide, we made sure that we cut the particular job in this angle only. Now because we are now sure that we are going to cut at this angle, the amount and the way we are going to restore is also very definitive. We already had plates bent according to this. We had fibula guides with our thread, and in the operatory, which usually takes around 8 to 10 hours of surgery, was reduced to mere 4 hours. We placed the dental implants on the same day and temporized the patient in the OTs. After a few days, once the patient had recovered back from the ICU, we changed the temporary restoration into a permanent. The patient then went for his radiation and chemotherapy. After a one year follow up, we saw that there is good uptake of the bone and the bone has healed very well. But, friends, it is not always going to be a situation where you have come to us prior to your surgery. There are a lot of cases where the surgery is already happened. The patient already has a facial deformity. Now, in such cases, like for example, this, we only have half a job present. In this patient, when we only had half a job present, what did we do? The patient is a case of recurrence. He had the cancer twice. Now, because he had this cancer twice, we did not go for a fibula restored job. Instead, what we used is something called a tinted implant technology with that. So, usually we require at least 20 teeth, that is at least teeth to the second molars to have a comfortable chewing life. For this patient, he had till the anterior teeth. So we placed tilted implants on this side. So we placed tilted implants here on this side. And because we placed tilted implants, we could give teeth to the second three molars. Because we were able to give teeth to the second three molar region, it was comfortable for the patient because case of recurrence it was a more simple operation which was done hence even in cases where the stage is stage 3 stage 4 or a repeat operation cases post that post oncologic reconstruction can also be attempted by using these tilted implant technology the main success of these tilted implant technology is not only in the implants but also in the restoration. Because we use peak framework, which acts like a very good shock absorber, and on top of that, we use sapling, which again reduces the load which the other side of the joint has. If you feel that you have already had a surgery 
or if you feel that you have an ulcer which is unlocked healing or if you have been diagnosed with bone cancer. Cancers can be removed. Post-cancer reconstruction and rehabilitation is as important as the cancer surgery itself. Thank you.